the thing that I want to ask you is, do you think Microsoft should start attacking the market with the same approach that Sony is? Given what we know with the current ABK situation, whether it goes through or not, obviously Microsoft is probably going to be pretty salty about the situation after everything going down. Do you, do you think they should start attacking and doing the same type of approach, getting those limited deals, getting those, those deals that they used to do back in the old days of Xbox? I don't know that they, that they do it, need to do it exactly like Sony's doing it because I think Sony is overly aggressive. Um, if it's a limited time, like a, a year, six months, exclusivity on the platform... Yeah, the the big thing that Microsoft seems to be doing is trying to lock in deals for Game Pass, which I definitely think they should uh, do that. But um, with Sony going, other you know teams and developers going, you know, if you want this on our platform, it shouldn't be in Game Pass at all. And uh, you know, we've seen. Um, you know, some filings that, that show that, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot more disclosure if other things happen in the next couple of months. Um, so I don't know. I think, um, you know, would I like them to? Yeah, I would definitely like them to step up and, you know, and, and you know, fight fire with fire a little bit. Um, I think that would go a long way, even if it's just a, you know, not everything, not, you know, scorched earth approach. But um, you know, pick pick a few targets and be like, "This would be good. This would be good. This would be good." You know, Diablo would be great if it came out on Game Pass, whether they uh, own it yet or not. You know, so yeah. maybe you know, preemptive strike. See if you can get that on at least get it on Game Pass. Uh, you know, or something, or, or at least I don't know. I, there's a, so there's so much in the air. I mean, I know the reason for them not doing it seems to be that they don't they they don't want to look bad for all these different regulators. They don't want to be like the bad guy. They want to, you know, they need to, I guess, come across their on their heels. Um, but a, after after the way the you know the CMA treated them and the, and the way that's uh, <clears throat> you know I don't, the way that Jim <laughs> kind of goes at it. I think that um, you know, it's it's a really thin line. I think because I think personally, I think that Sony has crossed the line. Even though yes, yes, it's it is a business, and that's how you succeed at business, and that's how they've become the market leader they are now, is by doing these cutthroat deals and things and trying to take, drive out other, you know, people in the industry. Um, I mean that's. They want to be the market leader. They want to make all the money. But for the consumer, but for the people that are buying the games, it's Sony, for them, even though they don't see it, <laughs> would be better off for you as a consumer if they didn't have everything, if they didn't get everything, didn't get everything they wanted, if it was actually a more even playing field because that means they're going to have to work hard. And when they work hard... Sony comes up with some great games and some great ideas and some great stuff instead of another, I don't know, Spider-Man 2, which is, uh, couldn't that be an add-on? <laughs> I know, I'll probably get a lot of hate for that. <laughs> but to me, that's that's all it is. It's just, you know, well, okay, cool. Yeah. Let's just, you know, slap some more characters in there and some more models <laughs> and, and just release the same game. Because it's kind of what they did with Ragnarok, in my opinion. Um, yeah. Half, if, half cut scene, half gameplay? I don't think if, so. It's yeah. the virtuous yeah. cycle. Yeah, <laughs> Ryan's virtuous cycle. It is. Yes. It is. It yes. is. But he's the one that said, you know, we need to. We, you know, he said that the consoles, Sony, PlayStation, isn't enough. They need to to get their games out on PC. Of course, mm -hmm. fanboys were like, "Ah, oh, you're crazy!" <laughs> you know, they were revolting. But he's right. That's why Microsoft is doing it. The bigger I ecosystem. I like how that conversation somehow always manages to m evolve or morph to an extent, right? He's like, yo, we need to put this on other things so we can actually make money. And they're like, no, 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 no. What he's saying is, <laughs> and they try and like, they try and like course correct for him. And it's like, oh, it's so sweet. You, you talking mm -hmm. for Jim. That's so sweet. Yeah. 
we'll see your games on PC Phil. in like three months. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because they all no, know that's... what Phil's talking about, don't they? They have yeah. no clue. I, I think we keep running into the same thing over and over again, obviously. Like, you know, you're going to run into extremists on all sides of the gaming, just like most things in life. And there's definitely like a small, very vocal group <laughs> on on each side where it's like that that defense force is strong, like real strong. Um, they're, they're willing to, they're willing to lift that weight and hold the water for anyone who comes out and makes a comment. They're like, no, 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 we got this. We got this. Uncle Phil, Jim, I don't know, whoever's in charge at Nintendo now, since it's not Reggie, we got you. We got it's, you. It's Bowser, man. It's Bowser. There, oh, that's right. It's Doug Bowser, isn't that's it? right. Yep. My bad. I had a Freudian slip for a second. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so no, I, uh, I definitely, I, I agree with your thought on that. Like, do they necessarily need to do the exact same page from the playbook? No. But I wonder if maybe, maybe this allows them to look at it and be more creative with how they approach some of these exclusivity deals and stuff. And, and you mentioned, I'm glad that you mentioned the Game Pass thing, right? I heard that a lot earlier. Um, so, Plume, I actually want to ask you on that. Do you think maybe that's that's the move forward, right? Is instead of just limiting a game to like the the console specifically or the ecosystem, why not just make it so it's like, yeah, okay, you know, you can you can have it over here on PlayStation, but you can have it day one in Game Pass for free. It kind of seems like that would be their way to assault that and kind of kind of counter that move. Because then it's a lot harder to to see that it's on PlayStation and Xbox at the exact same time, but seeing that you're paying that seventy dollars constantly for these games that are all coming to Game Pass. But what's what's your thought? Do you think maybe that's the path forward? Yeah, well, I think like I think especially if the Activision Blizzard deal doesn't pass, right? They're gonna have a lot of money, a lot of cash they're sitting on, and yep. I don't know if the next logical step is to take that cash and then go and try to acquire another huge a publisher and then sit through another year and a half of all the focus being on that and just kind of taking away from investing in what they currently have or going out, like you said, and making more deals similar to what PlayStation has been doing. Now, from my own personal perspective, like I'm, I've been consistent on this and I'm, I'm probably never going to change on it, but I like what Xbox has been doing, which is just providing that access to as many people as possible. I think that's a great thing for gaming and, and it sucks that I hate third party exclusives. I hate um, timed exclusives more so than anything. So I think, but at some point Xbox has to realize that like, Hey, like our deals are getting blocked. PlayStation is continuously going out and making deals for these massive IPs. Like metal gear is huge, right? It's going to be a massive draw for people over to, to buy a PS five. Same with Silent Hill, same with Castlevania. If this rumor is true, I think at some point Xbox needs to, start doing more third-party deals whether that means only on the xbox ecosystem like wherever game passes wherever cloud gaming is or like you said i think the other great solution because they're going to be making money from both ends right is just, hey you guys can go buy this on playstation for 70 bucks or it's day one in game pass and i think that will bring a lot of people over even if it's just for signing up for a month to draw them in and then to see what other stuff's available on Game Pass just to play that game. I think it's like a very smart strategy to get more Game Pass exclusive stuff and big day one third party games to try to draw people into checking out uh, Game Pass and the ecosystem. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Sour, I'm going to bounce it to you real quick. Uh, <laughs> I, f I feel like we kind of, we got a little bit off in the weeds just obviously because like that's one of the main topics. It, it's a big one for us right now. But getting it back to Metal Gear, um, if this is the case, which it sounds most certainly it is, we had obviously heard talks about maybe Blue Point being one that had worked on it, or we had heard some other possible rumblings. But are you excited about the idea of Metal Gear Solid 3 remake, or would you rather have a different Metal Gear remade, if, if it were up to you? Okay, before I answer the, that, I do want to jump a little bit back into the conversation. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> go for it. it. 
Uh, I want to add um, to, you know, what Plume was saying and Web Dave. Um, I also think that um, Xbox has a, a little problem with in terms of the exclusivity deals. And I think that the fact that PlayStation has been the market leader for so long, you know, they, they get kind of like the leeway or they get the, you know, they kind of have the bargaining chip yeah. in terms of nego- negotiation where they be like, you know, we want we want to pay you X amount, so you just keep it out of the Xbox platform, which you're not gonna sell that much anyway, and you just keep it on uh, an hour. On the other hand, you know, Xbox doesn't have that bargaining chip because you know right now they're in third place. But I do think that Game Pass is gonna help a lot because they can counter now with, you know, you can bring the game to Game Pass. You, thousands of people will play it or millions of people will play it and you can also keep it on the playstation platform and we will give you x amount which now they can you know now they can try to like make you know kind of like get into like uh kind of like a, a better like a, a get a better deal as of before like if they wanted to lock a game they would have probably asked them you know the world and, and 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 more because you know they're like you're kind of like not the market leader you know if i keep the game away from the playstation platform you know i will be missing out on possibly you know so many sales so mm-hmm. that's that's something i wanted to add to that that i i think that's kind of an issue that they were running into but hopefully now you know game pass will help and regarding metal gear I do. I would like uh, Metal Gear Three definitely, but I would like them to actually do the whole collection. To be honest, do a yep. remake of all four. Are they four? Four, right? Five, but four but five. there's, oh, yeah, there's yeah. four old we don't, ones. Yeah, we don't so. count the the. the, the fifth. <laughs> we don't talk about Bruno. <laughs> yeah. What the fifth? I actually love the fifth. <laughs> it, it was. It, it was okay, but it just wasn't... It wasn't finished. It, yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. It, it released an a... unfinished statement. Have we heard that recently? What do you mean? No, I mean... <laughs> I, I, love how you, I love how you put the balloons at the animals and they just take off. Like the, the sheep and stuff like that. That was yes. awesome. I'd love to do that. Yes. They, they did carry some really cool things over from obviously like portable ops and some of those other ones previous. It, it was cool to shoot people up into the sky with those Fulton recovery systems. Um, but yeah, I, I think sour is very much onto, onto something with that as well. Right. Is the fact that in the past they haven't had a bargaining chip to be like, Hey, you know, come over here, do this deal with us it's worth it for you. Like it, this will benefit you. This will benefit us. I think, especially with the fact that now you can get game pass all over the place, be it on a phone, be it on your TV, be it on a tablet, be it on a, a freaking, uh, I mean like you can get it everywhere, be it on your, on your ally or like your little steam deck or something like that. Like you, you can get that thing everywhere. And so I think that opens them up some bargaining uh, in the fact that then they can actually go out there and they can be like, listen, this is our potential market. Things are continuing on. Here's what we're looking at as far as growth. You know, it gives them more bargaining for sure. Uh, crazy. Hmm. Do you do you think that's do you think that's the case? Is like they do have more leverage now that they actually have more more alleyways or more paths to actually getting more customers into their pocket instead of just buying a console or having a PC and which metal gear would you like to see if you had your choice? Well, let me tell you something about Microsoft. They're, they're really missing up on a lot of opportunities because, Hey, guys, let's be honest. I mean, you got EA with you. I mean, it's right there with you because hey, we got what was it? What was it called? EA um uh, when they used to have it. EA access. EA access. Yeah, you have EA access on your Game Pass, right? You have it on there. I mean, why don't you sit down with EA? For example, one of the biggest EA games that released this year, right? Two of the biggest EA games that released this year. You had Dead Space. You had also Star Wars. I mean, why didn't you get like a special content or something for that game that can actually attract people, you know, to come to Xbox? 
you should have done something like that. I mean, you should have sat down and done like a cool thing with them. I mean, they're really missing out on such great opportunities to grab some good games and bring some good stuff to their console. I mean, guys, I know you guys wanted to be on Game Pass. I know this has to happen. I know we get mad because this third-party exclusivity deals um, just get stuck on, on one console, and, and then after like a year or two, they come out to the other one. But I'm going to tell you something, though. It actually works. It actually helps because, hey, man, we're talking about Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater, right? One of the best Metal Gear Solids, one of them. It's coming out exclusive for like probably, we don't know how much if it does though, for like a year or six months, you know, we don't know. Because here's another thing though, I mean, would it be as good? Because Kojima is not on that. Because that's, 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 I mean, I, that's something that, that freaks me out because I want to tell you something though, after they left Phantom Pain, right? This Metal Gear zombie, whatever, that thing, what was that called? That was disgusting. I'm sorry. That was a oh, bad game. Metal Gear Survive. It's Metal Survive. Gear Survive. Yeah. Oh, my it's God. Right. I mean, nobody even talks about that game. That, 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 that's how bad it was. I, I don't know why Konami like just went over there like, oh, let's make a scary Metal Gear. What? What's wrong with you guys? But it, like I said, um, we don't know if it's going to come out good. I mean, Silent Hill is being worked by... um. Is it, is it is it blubber team blooper 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 team <laughs> blooper team yeah it's, it's being worked by blooper team right yeah. so we have seen blooper team games and 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 they're not like as scary I would have gotten somebody else that you know that, that can do actually like a scary Silent Hill because Silent Hill is actually um it's actually well, really we'll give them a chance crazy yeah. I don't know yet Wait. no no I'm gonna I'm, I'm giving them a chance I'm giving them a chance I'm not saying no but again you know I don't like it. But they they kind of have to because that those names like I said Metal Gear Silent Hill Castlevania they are gonna attract the person to go buy a PS5 they will they will do that seriously they will even though they gotta wait a year but they will attract them 